Bro, bro. What up, dude? What's going on, brother? You know what, better yet? So I got a question for you. Shoot. Dead or alive, past or present, who would you like to face? You know, I've been asked this question a lot, and I got a lot of different answers, but today, if I had the choice right now, Kevin Von Kevin Von Kevin Von I feel, you know, because we're two guys, we're both barefooted wrestlers, we're from two different eras, but I feel like we have a lot of similar vibes. I've been compared to him. I don't think he's ever been compared to me, you know, but people have brought me up. I've talked to him on Twitter, and I just think, you know, the styles would match up well. Foot versus foot, we might even get him to a test of strength with our feet. Ah, Joey Ryan style, man. What do, you, what do you think about the Von Erichs doing the MLW? I love it. You know, I used yeah. to prefer he, MLW. Oh, I know. I used to come to all the good night. I, I, I miss hey. the shows, man. I Dude. miss seeing you there. It, it's, you know, I miss some things of the indies, but nothing's like wrestling on this no. stage. But yeah, MLW is a great promotion and uh, get, you know, help me get to where I am. And I love it, too. Back then, you didn't do the whole flip with the stuff. Yeah, you know, doing. back then I didn't. I wasn't making enough money to buy these kind of slides. Now that uh, I make the big bucks, I can get the quality uh, Nike boys. So I gotta tell you, shout out to Nike. Shout out to Nike. Give me uh, some free slides. So. so a couple months ago, I uh, somebody gave me your Instagram, and they said it's it's Bro's brother. So I, I started texting. So I started texting him. I said, Hey, have, you know how to get a hold of Matt Riddle? Matt Riddle? And then you answered back. Bro. Bro. And I was so stupid that I was like, I'm not even going to write him back because now I know it's him. It's I'm not going to make a fool out of myself. Me. I used to, I honestly used to try to reply to everybody, I'm like, bro, at least bro. But then, like, working here, it's like my inbox and it's just blooded. I can't even keep up with that. And what, what do you think about this whole week, man? I mean, you've been on a, on a crazy train going SmackDown, Raw. I mean, uh, What's the feeling, man? I mean, it feels good. It feels right. You know, I mean, they said we're a third brand, and if you move to Raw SmackDown, it's a lot of old movement. It didn't real, really feel like that until this past week where we made movements, we made moves, we made a statement, probably made SmackDown the best show of the week because we were on it. Unfortunately, the other stars couldn't get there, but I think it was refreshing. I think it was Oh, different. I'm glad. I'm and glad it happened. As you can see, what Survivor Series is looking like. It's basically looking like NXT is taking over Survivor Series. Oh, you guys and, are definitely taking over. And we already have TakeOver, War Games. And let, let's be honest, for the future, we have it for a while. Even the stars that come from here end up being the future stars there. So, I think... How was that day? I mean, like, I mean, what was that, like, 5 o'clock you guys got on the plane, I heard? Yep, they told us to get there at 4, most people barely made it there by 4, we left the airport by 5, by the jet, pretty swank, you know, yeah. got taken get on the, on the on the private oh, jet. Oh yeah, I got some video, I might post it a little later, let the people nice. see what, how the bro was living. What WWE jet was it, was it? It wasn't, well, they chartered it, I don't think it's their jet, but it was a private jet, I mean, they treated me like a king, tons of snacks, didn't have Can to Can they call you bro king? The king of bros. King of bros. That's what I was, but then the king of kings, Triple H. Didn't think there should be that many kings. So, yeah, I'm original bro, but still. You are original I will bro. always be the king of bros. So, I gotta ask you, now now that you're now you're WWE NXT, mm -hmm. you're looking forward to going to the main roster, what, what match are you looking forward to being? Like a Hell in a Cell, TLC? I mean, is there anything that you've watched that you really want to just take a dive into you know when it comes to special matches like that not really you know i like getting my work done in the ring i used to beat people up in a cage and i didn't have to use weapons to do that you big know? transition uh not really for me it's, it's a fight to fight so you know it's just slightly different there's a more lax days in the rules in wrestling so i get away with kicking people in the face on the ground and things i wouldn't be able to get away with in are we going to see you at celebrity series bro we'll see and i so, listen i gotta end I mean, it up it's highly right. Let, let's be honest. Like I'm everywhere else. I'm glad. I hope. You know, people are starting the the brittle chant. I was like, man, I should probably hit a steel jackhammer today. But well, you know, I want to end off with uh, with Goldberg. With, with Goldberg. What's uh, what's the newest? I mean, I mean, you think you're gonna do it? What's, well, what's the deal? I, I don't know. I, I think everybody knows it's a match made of money. You know, I think people want to see it. There's definitely some animosity and some heat there. And, why not use it, you know? I think, I think, personally, I can get a really good match out of Goldberg. Was it cool to do that promo with him, though? That wasn't a promo. But that, I mean, I mean... No, like, he doesn't like me. That was a random 
I ran into him. Wait, that was legit? My one buddy was following me. He just had his camera on him. And then once he saw it going, he started to film. Because he saw Goldberg before me. I didn't see him. I was looking at his locker. I'm like, oh, that's Goldberg. Oh, and so that was legit. Him, I was like, oh, no, it's Goldberg. He's like, uh, what's up? He's like, we got some talking to do. And I was like, all right, anytime, bro. Hey, think about it. I mean, I'm pretty laid back, but like, there was no lines, no script. That was just us. Like, first time meeting in person. I've talked a lot of shit, you know, so. Hey, but at the end of the day, you know, he didn't swing on me. I think, you know, Shane McMahon was thankful I didn't swing on him because he knows what I would do. And, hey, and at the end of the day, like I said, money's there. If he wants another payday, come meet. All right, bro. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Later.